Hello, welcome back to another wonderful video. In this fantabulous video, I am going to be talking about modulation in Godot. Now, what is modulation? Modulation is basically just a way of adjusting how an image or sprite uh, looks. So, uh, first we're going to start off with the color rect. You can see here that we have uh, no 2D as a parent, a sprite, and a color rect. I'm going to start with the color rect. You can see its color is set to white right now. And then, you may have seen this before, um, most nodes have this under visibility, there is going to be a modulate and self-modulate. So, what do these do? Basically, you can see that they're uh, color pickers, just like the color up here, but it's going to be kind of different. So, if I go to modulate and select it, as you can see, moving around, it's changing it to that color, uh, kind of like this. And then you can see... If I go and I do the same to self-modulate, it's going to do the exact same thing. So, what is the difference between this, this, and these seem to be doing the same thing as this? Well, these, this is setting the color of the rect itself, and this is adjusting it. So, if I were to go and set the color to red, and I change the modulate, you see it's changing the color, it's affecting the color of red, but it's not changing what color it was. But if I were to change this, it would change the entire color. So, this is setting the color, and then this is adjusting it. Now, if I were to go do the same thing on a sprite, um, you can see under visibility, there's modulate and self-modulate. This is already a color, so you can see when I do self-modulate, it is getting darker and lighter as I move this around, and it's also adjusting the color of this. Note that it's only adjusting the parts with color and not the parts with that are dark black. Now, what is the difference between modulate and self-modulate? Modulate basically means you're just modulating that. Self-modulate means you're only modulating itself. Modulate also affects its children. So you see if I go to the node 2D, which is a parent of both of these, and they go under modulate and they change it, both of these are getting affected even though I'm not doing modulate on either of them. I'm just modulating their parent, which is then affecting them. But if I were to go and do the same thing under self-modulate, you see it doesn't affect the other ones whatsoever. Another thing to note in modulation, in modulate, there's another slider here that's A, and you see none of it is uh, changing. When I move this around, A is staying constant. And A is for the opacity, how, how visible it is. So you see on this right, right here, as I'm moving it down, it's getting harder and harder to see, so I'm fading it down. This one too. You can go and modulate it to fade it down. <laughs> now, how do you change this from the code? You can see if I go um, under the code here, the, the modulate is basically um, func process delta. If the input is space, you have this code right here. This is how you change modulation. This is uh, script is attached to the node 2D, so it's going to modulate this, which affects both of them. But say if you only wanted to affect the sprite, you would do S, you would do sprite referencing that, and then you would do equals, and then you would put in the color and the uh, red, bl green, blue, and optionally um, opacity of what you wanted to modulate it to. And then, now, there's an easy way to really get this. So over here, I'm on this, and I have the modulate set to red. Let's say when I want this you to interact with this, somehow I want it to change its color to red, but I don't always want it to be red. What you can do is go and have it selected on the modulate you want to change its color to, and then hit this little hashtag here, and you can see what's there will change. The, this is the hex code, and this is the RBG values. Now if you take this and select it and copy it, and then you go and you just paste it in, it's going to be exactly the same color as it is here. So that way, you can have something happen kind of like this, where you see when I run this script and it hits space, it's going to activate that and thus adjust the color to red. But since this is already red, it's not affecting this, it's only affecting this because it's white. Um, personally, I feel modulation is most useful when it's something that's white and then you get to fully change its color, but that's uh, just my opinion. That's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, hope this was useful. See ya.